This is the Music History Today podcast for August 14th. On today's show, The Commitments premiered and the sequel to High School Musical was released. First up, though, on this date in 1961, the Marquis performed on American Bandstand. In 1964, the Beatles recorded the song I'm a Loser. In 1966, the Beatles headlined a concert at Cleveland Stadium, becoming the first rock band to headline at the venue. In 1967, the United Kingdom Marine Broadcasting Offenses Act, which took pirate radio stations off the air, went into effect. In 1974, drummer Neil Peart played with the group Rush for the first time. In 1983, Johnny Ramone of the Ramones had brain surgery after being injured in a fight with Seth Macklin of the group Sub-Zero Construction. In 1985, Michael Jackson bought the rights to the Beatles catalog for $47.5 million, a move that was rumored to have ended his friendship with Paul McCartney. In 1987, Guns N' Roses started their first American tour as the opening act for the group The Cult. In 1991, the movie musical The Commitments premiered. Among the cast and extras in the movie were the then unknown band members of the group The Coors. In 1994, Green Day had their legendary performance during day three of Woodstock 94. In 1998, Bethel, New York, where the Woodstock Festival was actually held in 1969, not in Woodstock itself, held the Day in the Garden three-day festival. In 1999, singer Leif Garrett was ordered to go to rehab by a judge after being arrested for drug possession. In 2000, Rage Against the Machine held a free concert in Los Angeles, California during the Democratic National Convention to protest the policies of the Democratic Party, who were in power at the time. Police then used pepper spray and rubber bullets after the concert in order to get rid of the crowd, which is always a lovely touch. In 2007, Amy Winehouse finally went to rehab. Unfortunately, she went back to heavily drinking once she got out of rehab. In 2010, Hilary Duff married hockey player Mike Comrie. In 2012, former leader John Giles of the Jay Giles Band sued his former band members in order to stop them from touring under the band's name. In 2012, Guns N' Roses started their Chinese Democracy Tour, six years before the album actually came out. In 2015, the movie about N.W.A., Straight Outta Compton, premiered. In 2019, ASAP Rocky was found guilty of an assault in Stockholm, Sweden. And also on that same exact day, Matt Healy of the group The 1975 kissed a male fan during a concert in Dubai where homosexuality is, well, to be nice about it, frowned upon. Thankfully, he was not thrown in jail because of it. No word on what happened to that male fan, however. In classical music in 1837, composers Robert Schumann and Claire Week were married. And in 1975, composer Dmitry Shostakovich's funeral was held in Moscow. In theater in 1997, the revival of the musical 1776 opened on Broadway. Albums that were released on August 14th include in 1964 when the Rolling Stones released their EP, 5x5. In 1971, The Who released Who's Next and Al Green released Al Green Gets Next to You. In 1973, Roberta Flack released Killing Me Softly. In 1974, Buddy Guy and Junior Wells released Buddy Guy and Junior Wells Play the Blues. In 1983, The Who released Rarities Volumes 1 and 2. In 1984, Soul Asylum released Say What You Will, Everything Can Happen. In 1985, Brenda Lee released Feel So Right. In 1990, The Heartthrobs released Cleopatra Grip. In 1992, Motorhead released March or Die. In 1994, The Spin Doctors released Turn It Upside Down. In 1995, Elvis Costello and Bill Frizzell released Deep Dead Blue. In 1997, Godspeed, You Black Emperor released F.A. 
In 2007, the soundtrack to the Disney TV movie High School Musical 2 was released. In 2009, the Double X released their self-titled album. And in 2012, Loverboy released Rock and Roll Revival. Singles that were released in the UK on August 14th include in 1976 when Nick Lowe released So It Goes. In 1978, The Police released Can't Stand Losing You. In 1981, Genesis released Abacab, and also in 1981, the Rolling Stones released their classic Start Me Up. Meanwhile, in America, in 1974, the Eagles released James Dean. In 1979, Paul McCartney and Wings released Arrow Through Me. In 1987, Fleetwood Mac released Little Lies. And in 1995, Selena's record company released her song Dreaming of You, Oasis released Roll With It, and Blur released Country House. Before we go any further, we'd like to tell you that there is now a Music History In-Depth podcast where we go more in-depth on a few of the events that happen in music history for that particular week. The Music History In-Depth podcast runs every Tuesday on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts from, as does our Music Halls of Fame podcast, which talks about a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame along with other Music Halls of Fame, museums, and walks of fame. The Music Halls of Fame podcast drops every Thursday and can also be found on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. Now, back to this podcast. Artists who were born on August 14th include David Crosby of The Birds and also Crosby, Stills, and Nash. And also Crosby, Stills, Nash, and Young. And on occasions, a solo career. Guy was everywhere. Actor, comedian, and renowned banjo player, and also the singer of the song, King Tut, Mr. Steve Martin. Singer, Sarah Brightman. Kevin Cadigan of Third Eye Blind. Singer, Hugh Ning Kai. Singer, Austin Porter. Singer, Alia Molden. Guitarist and Selena's widowed husband, Chris Perez. Rapper, Candy Rain. Rapper, Lil Barnacle. Rapper, Du Boy. Bassist Larry Graham of Sly and the Family Stone, Maddie Pryor of Steel Eye Span, Lionel Morton of The Four Pennies, Slim Dunlap of The Replacements, Dash Crofts of Seals and Crofts, Terry Adams of NRBQ, film composer James Horner who did the music for Titanic, Animatronic of the group The Scissors Sisters, Country music singer Connie Smith, Valerie Jell of The Liverbirds, Sharon Bryant of Atlantic Star, jazz singer Buddy Greco, lyricist Lee Adams, pianist Ben Sidron, guitarist George Newsome of the group The Climax Blues Band, guitarist Mark Collins of the group The Charlatans, and also Star Sailor. Saxophonist Walter Blanding, rapper Andre Blaze, saxophonist Jerry Underwood of the band Pentangle, John Martin, Spirit Level, and also Bullet. Blues guitarist Sun Seals, vibraphonist Eddie Costa, conductor John Kakavis, singer Lorenz Alexandria, Singer Alice King of the King Sisters, avant-garde musician Pierre Schaefer, violinist Stuff Smith, president of ASCAP, Mr. Stanley Adams, pianist Jack Gardner, and vaudeville performer Ada Bricktop Smith. Artists who unfortunately passed away on August 14th include composer William Croft, who passed away in 1727 at the age of 48. Composer Giovanni Somis passed away in 1763 at the age of 76. Composer and brother of Christian Frederick Roop, Frederick Roop, passed away in 1834 at the age of 63. Composer Nicola Benvenuti passed away in 1867 at the age of 84. Composer Landon Ronald passed away in 1938 at the age of 65. Blues singer Big Bill Brunzi passed away from cancer in 1958 at the age of 65. Singer Zachariah Ahmad passed away in 1961 at the age of 65. Composer Guido Fano passed away in 1961 at the age of 86. 
Jazz singer June Richmond passed away from heart issues in 1962 at the age of 47. Rockabilly singer Johnny Burnett drowned in a boating accident in 1964 at the age of 30. Pianist Oscar Levant passed away in 1972 at the age of 65. Conductor Carl Bowen passed away in 1981 at the age of 87. Blues singer Bobo Jenkins passed away in 1984 at the age of 68. Blues guitarist Roy Buchanan passed away in 1988 at the age of 48. Robert Calver of the group Hawkwind passed away from heart issues in 1988 at the age of 43. Jazz double bassist Chester Zardis passed away in 1990 at the age of 90. Tony Williams of the group The Platters from 1953 to 1959 passed away in 1992 at the age of 64. Dave Williams of the group Drowning Pool passed away in 2002 at the age of 30. Country music singer Johnny Duncan passed away in 2006 at the age of 67. Singer Lita Rosa passed away in 2008 at the age of 82. Jazz singer and civil rights activist Abby Lincoln passed away in 2010 at the age of 80. Alan Lanier of the group Blue Oyster Cult passed away from complications of COPD in 2013 at the age of 67. Producer Bob Johnston passed away in 2015 at the age of 83. James Woolley of the group Nine Inch Nails passed away after he fell off of a ladder in 2016 at the age of 49. Jill Janis of the group Huntress committed suicide in 2018 at the age of 43. Composer Ivo Malik passed away in 2019 at the age of 94. Classical guitarist Julian Bream passed away in 2020 at the age of 87. Violinist Igor Oistrak passed away in 2021 at the age of 90. Composer R. Murray Schaefer passed away in 2021 at the age of 88. And composer Augustin Gonzalez Asilu passed away in 2023 at the age of 94. Next on the Music History Today podcast, it is August 15th, when in 1969, the original Woodstock Music Festival opened. <laughs> 